Welcome to our CUNY IT session, Igniting Program ePortfolios. We will hear from the CUNY School of Professional Studies, Kingsborough Community College, and Lehman College on their program ePortfolio projects. Program ePortfolios are at the fulcrum of current debates on the direction that educational curriculum and curriculum planning might take in the contemporary world. The School of Professional Studies presentation will include presentations of program ePortfolio projects by me, Barbara R. Walters, the Academic Director of Sociology, and Mariette Bates, the Academic Director of Disability Studies. Because we did not record the session at the time, when we approach the slides for disability studies, I will walk you through those slides with very little comment. The School of Professional Studies is the largest urban university in the world. We have online programs that were launched in 2006, largely directed for a population of degree completers. School of Professional Studies is regionally accredited by the Middle States Commission, and our goal is to provide quality education and access to all New Yorkers and beyond. The School of Professional Studies ePortfolio projects began in 2008 with making connections and then connect to learning two large projects developed by Brett Einan at LaGuardia Community College. Actually, our work on ePortfolios began much earlier in 2005 at a CUNY Integrative Learning Seminar hosted at the Graduate Center. Brett Einan introduced ePortfolios as part of the larger Intentional Teaching and Learning Project and Visible Knowledge. The BA in Sociology program was launched in 2011, having studied ePortfolios for three years. As a new online program, we were able to build from scratch and integrate ePortfolios and ePortfolio pedagogy into the curriculum and course development process. This work dovetailed with efforts on the part of the American Sociological Association to create a meaningful curriculum in which students moved or developed skills in a rational and planned fashion rather than a former practice of a Ferris wheel model where students would take one course in sociology and then be free to take any other course. We used materials earlier developed in a pilot project and the, the initial communication and culture project developed in 2006 to align learning goals or learning outcomes for the program with their placement in courses. Specific tools and skill building units have been embedded in layers via units and tools in specific courses throughout the program so that students move up and develop skills that they use in later parts of the program. Career planning begins with admission, again as suggested by an American Sociological Association study. ASA examined skills listed by graduates, skills that have been effective in helping them locate employment upon graduation and then their overall satisfaction as a function of the relationship between their current employment and what they learned in sociology as a sociology major. Of course, sociology majors are more satisfied when they have jobs that are closely related. The study increasingly emphasizes the importance of students getting started early in the focus on career choices, and thus we outline those and provide students with information early in the program. 
This photo is unconnected, as is the case for many students. Part of the integrative learning model is to help students integrate coursework, extracurricular activities, jobs, family, and other activities in a meaningful way, and to communicate this and what they have learned authentically and in relationship to authentic audiences. Course learning goals are connected to program goals through our ePortfolio project. Each course has a template which students complete as part of their coursework. The level of integration is higher in the sociology program because the program is so new and we were able to build from scratch. At the end of their career with us, students develop a capstone using a capstone template with tabs about me. They also write a statement of purpose, construct an academic portfolio, engage in career planning in which they develop several CVs, their capstone project, and reflections. Reflections are an integral part of our pedagogical process. The academic portfolio requires students to outline and reflect upon their prior coursework to examine it and hopefully link to templates from past courses and then to develop a capstone project based on work they did in a prior course or a capstone project that integrates and showcases what they have learned in the program. Giselle Bonet, for example, is interested in becoming a community college teacher. Her ePortfolio project, her capstone project, compared learning community students to non-learning community students across eight, eight sections with statistically significant results. Thank you for your time and I appreciate the opportunity to present our project.